special service. Uh, we celebrate when we have baptisms. And baptisms are fairly uh, standard place. When I say, what does a baptismal program look like, many of you can picture your own baptism, for example. But when I say a profession of faith service, some of you might be uh, questioning, what is that? What, what's the big deal with a profession of faith service? A profession of faith service is when you have a group of people or an individual who has made a decision to give their life fully to Jesus Christ. They've already been baptized, perhaps in another congregation, and they've decided through the Lord's leading that they want to join the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And so they've already given their life publicly to Jesus through baptism. The profession of faith service then sort of serves as the public committal, uh, this renewing of vows, if you will. And so one miracle that I was especially thankful for on the mission trip is one day I get a message on my phone from Greg Pierkowski. Greg Pierkowski, many of you already know, says, this has been a long journey, but we want to leave the Latter-day Saint Church, and we want to join the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Pawpaw. Oh, there were many of us on the bus that were jumping up and down that day. <laughs> and so you may have remembered a month ago when I did an altar call. I had actually pre-primed Greg. He had already made this decision. We've talked about it. And I said, you've got to give the congregation a chance to prepare for this. You've got to come forward. And they did. And I saw tears and eyes. And so this is now our chance to do the public ceremony. I want to invite the Pierkowski family to come forward at this point. We have Greg and Shandy. And then we have their kids, Jacob, Isaac, Alexia, or Lexi, and Corbin. Come on up here. <laughs> Now, just so I know, how many of you already know the Pierkowski family? Just out of curiosity, how many of you, <laughs> as the hand's going up already, I haven't even asked the question yet. <laughs> okay, let's start. How many of you know their kids from Kalamazoo Junior Academy, either your classmates or your, your uh, children uh, know them? All right. How many of you have had the opportunity to spend New Year's Eve with the Pierkowskis? Look at the number of hands going up. How many of you have had a meal with the Pierkowskis? All right, look at the number of hands going up. So two and a half years ago, we got an interesting phone call at Kalamazoo Junior Academy. Phone call basically went like this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we have a family who is devout in their faith, and they brought up their, their children to have a relationship with God. And one of them had just gotten in trouble for praying at public school because they, they yeah, he's pointing, <clears throat> because they believed, the, the principal believed that this violated the separation of church and state, and so he was reprimanded. And so they made the decision to pull their child out of public school and to homeschool for some time. Well, anybody who knows Jacob knows that uh, he needs a little bit, little bit of extra social attention. We need to get him out and socialized a little bit. And... Uh, and so they made the decision that it's time to get him in school. And so you guys made phone calls. How many different schools did you end up getting connected with? Um, I think we did it. There was at least four or five schools that we had called. Okay. And they were all very we, open and welcome, welcoming to this idea of, of a Latter-day <clears throat> Saint family coming, right? Um, well, we actually didn't necessarily uh -huh. call. We actually went to the schools okay. physically and told them our situation, told them what we were looking for, and then, of course, they asked what faith we were. We told them we were Latter-day Saints, and it all stopped. Yeah. Well, part of that, you know, and I got to give Jacob some, some strength here, you know, to, we're sitting in, in, in one of the academies and, uh, that was over off of 9th Street, and, and, and we had been in, almost enrolled, and Jacob was there in the principal office, and he's getting ready to start that day. And the principal pulls us in and says, well, we've decided that things are changing. Um, you're, you guys are Latter-day Saints, and you guys pray to a different God. And we went, we pray to Jesus Christ, who you pray to. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, well, you, you pray differently. And Jacob actually said what I just said to the principal. And, and uh, the principal got more uncomfortable, and he said, well, you pray differently. And Jacob said, well, how do you pray? This is how I pray. And um, so, you know, so, I mean, you can imagine Jacob, if you know Jacob, doing that. But No fear. Um, 
the, the schools were not welcoming to what our was to what we were as as faith. So, last but not least, you ended up at Kalamazoo Junior Academy, and you from were from Google. From Google. From Google. Pretty yeah. Google. From Google. That's from, my, yeah. yeah, from Google, they showed up at Kalamazoo Junior Academy, and you had high hopes for that, right? No. <laughs> I, I, I was probably very grouchy. Um, my wife Poor was Margie, Margie and, uh, and, and, and your wife probably were uh, wondering who in the heck walked in the doors. But, uh, you know, when, when we sat and talked and told them right away that we were Latter-day Saints, we were proud of that. Um, we talked about our religion and what we believed, and everybody took it open arms. And, and, and for a time, um, we were very concerned about staying on track and things. And, you know, for a time, uh, Mike would even talk to them about our own scriptures during certain times of split-offs, which was, for us, was huge because we, not that we have different scriptures, that's not what I mean, but some different things about the Latter-day Saint Church at times. Uh, but we, well, and we took that in and went, wow, these, these Seventh-day Adventist people, we don't know who they are. Um, but they're respecting our family. Mm. And, you know, no one's ever tried to convert us. They, they haven't. They've just kind of taken us in. We're thankful for that. I remember the very first day that you all showed up at KJA, Andrea called me, and we knew that this uh, visit was happening. And she calls me later, and she says, they're going to make great Seventh-day Adventists one day. Never <laughs> <laughs> well, mind, we just found that out about two weeks ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... Um, it was a long journey. The, the, we made the deci- or they made the decision uh, after the first visit, Jacob came to visit. After that visit, we had another sit down. And, and while we were sitting down, you gave your brothers and sister a tour. And by the end of that tour, Isaac was ready to come along and join in the KJA as well. And so we picked up two of their kids that first year, both in Mrs. Taylor's classroom. And the following school year, we picked up Corbin and Lexi in the front row. And so we had all four of their kids at KJA. And so one of the things that I was really grateful for and really thankful for was um, just how supportive uh, Shandy and Greg were of education in general. They wanted to be involved in their kids' education. They would help driving with field trips and get involved. Um, we, we jokingly said that the, the Mormon family was some of our best uh, representatives, <laughs> some of our best marketing. And We were Seventh-day Mormons for a long time. So. <laughs> so, you know, and, and so... One thing I was also very thankful for was the opportunity. I would get a call from Greg. I remember a call came in, coming from Greg, and he comes up to me and he says, can we just get together and just read the scriptures? Amen. Can we just get together and read? Just read. No strings attached. And so I remember for several weeks in a row, we would get together and we'd just read Gospel of John, chapter at a time, just stop and talk. And, and more often than not, we would get sidetracked into other issues, but we would get together and we'd just read scriptures. And over how long? Would you say it's the uh, last year or so? Yeah. Over the last year or so, your family's been on a, on a bit of a spiritual journey as well. A little bit, yeah. A bit of a road. We've, uh, this <laughs> last year, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, we, we probably, I think my kids made the decision to change probably six months ago. Um, but for my wife and I, it, it's been a year. Uh, we've been coming Saturday and Sunday to church for uh, close to a year. With so Either day was wrong. We had them both right. We didn't know. Um, it covered either way. But, you know, it, it's, it's been a journey on trying to figure out what we wanted. And at the end of the day, we've been taught so much. We aren't, we're taking so much with us. That church is all I know. Um, I don't have nine wives. I can only afford one. <laughs> um, you, you know, but as Mike and I sat and talked, um, I'll always have a huge respect for the Latter-day Saint Church. Um, I could never tell anybody anything bad about it. Um, it's just Christ has brought us to where we are here. We needed to be there for... And, and understand, I've been active for 18 years. Um, when I say active, up until last week. Mm-hmm. Um, we weren't inactive. We weren't not going. Uh, we had positions and different things. 
um, but we're thankful we're here, you know, and um, for a guy that doesn't have any taste buds, you guys eat a lot, you know, um, and, you know, the friendships is, we didn't join the church because of the friendships, uh, that would have been easy to do, it was a part of it, and I don't want to dismay that because that's important. But the relationship with Christ and with my kids, and as I've asked my all, my, it hasn't been a me or my wife decision. All my kids have prayed about it, um, you know. And after we left that time a month ago, the boys and I were at McDonald's and we started talking about things. And we went home and talked more and way. And I asked them all to pray about it, if they felt this is where we needed to be, um, because we're. Like I said, we're not leaving anything. We're just, there are some things that, that are different. Um, but, I, you know, Isaac is, you know, came to me a, about a, a week after asking him to pray. And he says, you know, Dad, I, 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 I really feel that God is leading us to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, and it was very watery. Yeah, it was. Isaac doesn't cry if anybody knows that. He's, he's kind of, um, but, you know, all the kids have told me in their own way why they want to come here. But, uh, um, you know, I'm thankful for the support here. Honestly, um, Mike and Gio will probably tell you that I, I um, when people, oh, when we first came, I stood in the corner, and if you wanted to be my friend, I didn't want to shake your hand um, as my wife was pushing me out. And you guys have been fantastic. Um, standing here today, without any disrespect to my past, I, I, I got to tell you that this is a church family. Um, we've never had that. Uh, we've had friends, but we've never had a church family. More acquaintances. You know, and, um, you know, there's been some folks that have helped us, and no one's ever tried to convert me or my family. Um, I mean, I was a ward missionary leader. I knew the tricks. I mean, I probably was the one that taught them to come to the church, you know. Um, so I know, but no one ever tried to convert us. We ate dinner. We came, we, you know, we played games. We, we, we kind of laughed. He, he's also an Amway guy. And uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what he said, he expected with some of the invitations for dinner, the, let's move into the living room and how'd that whiteboard get there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was, and none of that. So it's, you know, where we are today is because of, we wanted to focus on a relationship with Christ. Um, and just, there's so many things that as you watch our family will grow and, um, that relationship with Christ, I think, is the biggest thing that I can tell everybody to focus on amongst all the other stuff. And probably the, the biggest thing that I'm, I'm looking forward to is I've spent so long administering, I'm looking forward to ministering. Mm. Um, and, but I'd, I could probably talk forever. And, but um, there's not anything, as we look at the 28 principles, I mean, I've been looking at the church for a year. I mean, I... I, I knowledge and coming in and how it developed and different things and you know the 28 beliefs uh being a latter-day saint i probably agree on 27 and a half of them already um, from the start already from the start i remember the the first day he saw the list of the 28 he says oh you guys have, have a prophet we do too so <laughs> you know, and so the idea of of the god's spirit working ongoing it was it was wonderful you you've gone through a journey we ha we have we've had some the last couple of weeks have been pretty hard when we sent out a, a we were finally going inactive and things and um, you know the church is still chasing us you know this week we got phone calls and you know every but it's uh, we're here this is where we are you know it's nice to sleep in on Sundays now it's kind of a neat thing so, <laughs> so all right so. well one thing we want to do just for formality's sake. Uh, this certificate may look familiar. Uh, if you have a baptismal certificate, it probably looks like that. The exact same thing, except for instead of saying baptism, this one says profession of faith. Has the very similar in the inside, some of our core fundamental teachings. On the back, the commitment and profession of faith. It's actually the same 13 vows as you would find for the baptism. And we do have an approved abbreviated version. I want to make it just real simple. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your savior? And that believing in his shed blood that you were saved from sin and all its penalties. Yes. Yes? yes. yes. You got to say yes, yes for the microphone. That's full question. All right. Yes. <laughs> do you believe the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you, 
ask for the Holy Spirit to guide you in your journey as you try to live up to the Bible teachings to the best of your abilities. Yes. 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 Is it your desire to join this local congregation of the Worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church to, make, to become a member here, and not just a member, not just a pew warmer, but a disciple of Jesus Christ here in the Pawpaw Church? Yes. 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 He's getting hot, that's all. That's all right, I understand. Church family, you've heard the desires. These people want to join the church. You've heard the journey. Many of you have been a part of the journey. What do you think? Do we have a motion to bring them into church membership on profession of faith? I'll take a first, I'll take a second. One of the things I want to do is I want to have a special prayer of blessing. I'd like to invite the elders to come forward, and also I want to invite the teachers and staff of Kalamazoo Junior Academy. Many of them made the trip out this week. I want to invite them to come forward. I'm going to have uh, Greg, Shandy, kids, I want you to come down forward here. We want to have a special prayer of blessing with you, or blessing for you, if you as you come forward. Can I share one thing real Of course. Quick? Just real fast, if I can. Um, Mike talked about baptism. <coughs> um, and I, we're thankful that everyone's here, but I, I just wanted to share with you guys as some of the things as we learned. Um, our baptisms are word for word the same as what, as a Seventh-day Adventist, we do, mm -hmm. um, is the full immersion and things like that. So it's not, um, that baptism is important. Amen. I just wanted to share that with you guys, that it's not any different. All right. Well, where do you want me to I stand? want you guys to come stand right up in the front here. Elders, teachers, I want you to gather around. Family right up front. He can't stand down. He's gonna... Corbin, you're going to be okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's All just right. going to sit down. He's, I understand. Trust he's me. Not. I'm warm, he's too. So. You're fine. Where do you want me to stand? Just, I want you to stand probably right in the middle of your family. Okay. All right. Teachers, elders, gather around. All right. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this opportunity we have to celebrate this, this process, this journey that the Pirakowskis have been on for not only the last couple of years, but for their entire lives. Lord, we know that uh, you've been working on their hearts, you've been working on their minds, you've been pushing them ever closer to you, both in the Latter-day Saint Church and now as they feel the, the call to come to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Lord, we thank you for the role that many of us have played in that journey. A little bit here, a little bit there, encouraging them, uplifting them, praying for them mightily. Lord, I want to pray for your blessing to be upon them as a family. Lord, we know that the devil is not going to be happy when anybody makes a decision to follow you. Lord, I pray that you would watch over them and protect them, that you would help them to stay strong, united as a family in you. Lord, here in Paw Paw, and also at Kalamazoo, we know that this carries a lot of responsibilities. Lord, they are part of our family, officially now, where they've been just uh, uh, very, very, very close friends. Now they are family, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ with us. Lord, we take this responsibility seriously to encourage them every step of the way. Lord, we pray that your spirit would be with each of us as we continue to teach, to guide, to direct. Lord, we want to pray that your spirit, that Jesus Christ, the love of, of the Father, all of, all of the basic parts of what your word teaches would be with the family. Bless them. Lord, be with them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now, Pierkowski family, before you go too far, the church does have both gifts and certificates so that you can celebrate this day. I'm going to let uh, Jacob hold on to these, and uh, we also have a gift bag for you here. And before you go, there's one other thing I did in a sermon several months ago, church family. You might remember this. You might remember when I preached my sermon about Jesus Christ breaking down walls and building up a brand new church built on the chief cornerstone. We're all different shapes, we're all different sizes, but we gather together to be a part of one church. I want to ask if uh, the Pirakowski families want to add, members of the Pirakowski family want to add their block to the Church of Jesus Christ, still under construction, but still moving forward for Jesus.
They want to build up in line with the chief cornerstone. Amen. And I'll grab uh, Shandy and Corbin. I understand. I understand. Thank you.